As one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef holds a spot on every traveler's bucket list. Hugging the east coast of Queensland, Australia, the Great Barrier Reef extends from Cape York in the north all the way to Bundaberg in the south, a total of 1,250 miles. With roughly 3,000 coral reefs, 600 islands and 1,625 species of fish, the reef leaves its 1.6 million annual visitors enchanted. But before diving in, it's important to get your bearings. The northern half of the reef runs from the Cape York Peninsula to Cairns, a popular home base for many reef visitors. Not only does Cairns provide the closest reef access from the mainland, but it also boasts a few attractions of its own, like the Karanda Scenic Railway and the Wildlife Habitat Port Douglas. Travel farther down the coast and you'll run into the southern half of the reef, which stretches from the Capricorn Coast, along the Tropic of Capricorn, to Gladstone and Fraser Island. Airlie Beach is a favored hub for travelers in the south thanks to its array of stylish resorts and its close proximity to a cluster of 74 islands known as the Whitsun Days. Wherever you decide to hang your hat, the Great Barrier Reef is a treasure trove of once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Whether you're gazing at marine life through a scuba mask, letting the tropical breeze unfurl your sail, or in a plane gliding high above it all, the possibilities for exploration are nearly limitless. The best way to get around the Great Barrier Reef is by car or boat, depending on where you plan to spend the majority of your time. If you're on the mainland, renting a car is the best way to get to and from the attractions in and around Cairns. However, if you're planning to spend your vacation on one of the reef's more remote areas, like the Whitsunday Islands or Lizard Island, then catching a boat is your best bet. Because Cairns is the tourist hub of Queensland, and a convenient point from which to explore the reef, many Great Barrier Reef visitors fly into Cairns International Airport, CNS. If you're traveling from the U.S., you'll have to change planes in Sydney or Brisbane to get to Cairns. If you're flying directly to one of the islands on the reef, you'll likely fly into the Great Barrier Reef Airport, HTI, on Hamilton Island. This airport welcomes flights from Cairns, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne provided by carriers like Virgin Australia, Jetstar, and Qantas. From Hamilton Island, you can easily hop on a plane or boat to explore the reef's neighboring islands.